on a panel with Craig from Data Video and Jason Aaron, who's been with us all day. Thanks for being here, guys. Sticking it out. Sticking wow. it out. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Welcome back. And um, the reason we're doing this segment right now is because we were here earlier talking about all of the amazing products that Data Video has and how we're integrating them into this pavilion that we have here at Infocom 2016. But we didn't get to show the full functions of the KMU 100, which I'm super excited about. So I really want to take this time to go through the aspects of it, the features, and uh, let everyone out there see what it's all about. Yeah, thank you for having us. Yeah. I really appreciate it. I mean, this product is really so cool. We talked about the fact that it's through one camera, you're getting four images. So for everyone who wasn't with us earlier, why don't you give us a little background and then we'll attack it with our guys back there. Okay, well thanks, uh, thanks a lot for letting us show this product because it, it's brand new. It's a new concept on how to shoot a, a production like this where we're all on a stage and we're talking to an audience and we're facing this way. What you can do is have a 4K camera set up and we run that signal over to the KMU100, mm -hmm. that's the product. And what that does is it splits the signal into four HD signals. And then you can create a little uh, 4K, or I mean a, a 1080 image or HD image output and then, and then have four of those going into a switcher. So if I want to have a two shot like we have right now. Right. Or if it's oh, look at that. They already changed it. Yeah, they changed it. So, so there's the main camera so up there. Well, this whole production is one camera. So now there's a two shot of us and Jason. Look at that. And Look at that, uh, and that picture is fantastic. So you're not moving the camera, you're moving the, you're just switching it in a switcher. It's already outputting that HD signal. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's like a multi-camera solution. Now, do you have built in, and I, I'm probably jumping into the technical. <laughs> Go right for it. But We're here, you, it's Infocom. Right, so, I, you know, most folks obviously understand, you know, 4K, it's, uh, it's larger than HD, so you're just taking a piece of that and then outputting right. HD. Do you have limitations? Uh, in terms of going smaller than HD and magnifying it? Well, you can actually zoom in past HD into uh, a standard definition re uh, re uh, resolution. It will warn you, not, it's not, it will, I'm, uh, it's uh, a firmware update, but it'll warn you when it goes past uh, the and HD And it's digital spec. zooming, right. So that way you're not zooming in too much and losing a lot of pixels and what have you. But the quality, as you can see, it looks really nice. It really does, and the best part is uh, that I like the most is that you have your four images and even if they're just set, you don't have to leave them there throughout the entire production. Right. You can so, zoom as the production's going on, you can reposition the cameras. If we want to get this guy right here alone on camera, he can wave. <laughs> yeah, I think that's from a GoPro. That's actually, with our so. GoPro out there, which is kind of cool because now we're really shooting picture in picture. <laughs> there we <Yeah>. go. <laughs> this whole set, it, it's we, we keep bringing up Inception. We're like in it, yeah. and then it's happening, and it's behind us, and it's real, and we don't even know what's going on. And, and of course, this is uh, this is our stage two setup. So we've been using your PTZs all day, and yes. then for this panel, we've essentially created all these different looks with just a single camera. And as we talked about this morning, you know, you do not need to go out and buy a, a million dollar camera to do this. We're doing this with a, a Blackmagic, uh, is that the Micro Studio? So or micro, micro Studio. Micro Studio 4K camera, 1295 sticker. Correct. Uh, and look at the quality. $300 lens, yeah, and that's Look at it. the quality, it's, it's amazing. And uh, so the time to set this up would be a fraction of the time. You've got to set up four cameras, of course. And then, of course, I'm reminded all the time that, hey, I don't have to pay a cameraman either. Right. Uh, right. Are, and are you running this? Is this run back SDI? It's going back SDI, and uh, then you can go into the KMU, and then it splits the signal from there. Do you have an option HDMI in? or? It has HDMI. In fact, to be honest with you, the, uh, the, the shipping version will have it both, HDMI and SDI. So right now, we're just HDMI. We have to convert it. and uh, But we'll have both. So you can go up to uh, 12G. And um, it's, uh, we haven't actually seen a camera yet with 12G. I'm sure it's going to look great. But. So the, the, this unit, it's just a single unit to take one camera and split it to four? Right. So the, the nice thing about it, too, of course you want to go to a switcher, and I hope you go to a data video switcher. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But to be honest with you, it really will go to any workflow. So if you're using another one of our competing products out there that you already have a, a switcher that you want to use, it's SDI in, right? So if you have an SDI switcher, this product will, will be in that workflow for perfectly. I do a ton of 
these types of productions. I mean, wow. what we're sitting on today, I direct a lot of this stuff. Um, a lot of it's live stream. So a big issue for me uh, becomes, okay, what's the best hardware, camera, delivery system? What's the best way to do this? Because the best switcher might not have any, you know, it doesn't have any integration with getting it out to the internet. Um, and I say live stream because we use that platform a lot, but sometimes mm -hmm. we want to not use that platform. Right. Um, and, you know, live stream does a great job of sort of integrating their hardware and software together. I mean, most companies, uh, you know, even Apple, you know, Apple's a hardware company. Uh, surprise, and <laughs> if you thought yeah. otherwise. Um, live stream to me is one of the companies that, that finds a great balance between software and hardware. Um, but again, you know, they, they're not a camera company. So how does that work? Right. A and, and then I, I've never found a great solution. You know, right now we're using this system with these Blackmagic cameras because we love the cameras and we'd love to be able to control them from a software end. We're in a, we're in a school environment. So Yeah, this is, a, like I said, we just took a uh, flyer and decided to use this camera with only one day notice. So, but you made an interesting point. If you white balance and color correct this camera, you're actually white balancing and color correcting four, four cameras. Yeah. So you don't have to set up each one. Right. Imagine and listen, we're in an environment, and uh, one of the, the big AV jobs that I do is for uh, a private high school. And budget's obviously a concern. But the other thing is, it's a high school. It's an educational environment. They want their students to be involved. Yes. But as the paid professional that they bring in, <laughs> I also have to understand, OK, somebody has to watch this at the other end. So there are certain things that I am glad to take the control out of the kids' hands. The reason we integrated Blackmagic Studio cameras is because now these kids, I mean, they're high school kids. They're not, they're not camera operators with years of color experience. They don't know how much to open up the iris. Well, now they don't even get to do any of that. I do that from hundreds of feet away sitting at a computer. Oh, I see. And yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, so I'm controlling all that with the computer. All I ask the students to do is point the and camera shoot, yeah. in, the, in, the, in the vicinity. You can control focus of this too. Oh, so okay. it's, you know, point the camera in the vicinity that you, that, you know, you think that maybe we should be shooting and which we'll is, handle the rest. Which is great about this because if they're not, you're still back there zooming in and trying to, you know, get the frame up. Oh, you I can mean, do that. Yeah, absolutely. And listen, you know, the PTZs, it's, it's the same sort of thing. I mean, right, right now I look around, there's uh, four or five. I don't even yeah, know. I think I, we have six total. Yeah. Here. So. Which is I, probably overkill, but for this, <laughs> where you're showing an application. Yeah, yeah, but you know what? Who's paying? Let's say it was four. Who's paying four camera operators? Right. Uh, with the PTZs, we use these. Um, we keep talking about this live stream that we did recently in, in uh, New York City at Gotham Hall. Big venue. We put the PTZs up on the balcony, and we were getting one shots like this. Wow. Um, with the same camera that you were seeing an entire hall mm -hmm. with. And literally, you know, you. It's a great product. You store those different views. You know, you have you have four presets on each camera, four cameras and one on one board. That's that's 16 cameras for those who are good at the basic yeah, right. math. <laughs> and and by the way, zero operators, not one yeah. camera Wait, operator. This is why Eric Fletcher is not part of this panel yeah. right now. <laughs> we don't want him to know he's out of it. No, there's always there's no a reason way. for camera. There is. There's a wrong. purpose, and that's what uh, Jason and I were talking about earlier. That there. It sounds hypocritical sometimes when you're promoting a project product and you're saying, oh, but you're replacing this now or this position or this job, but that's not true. There's a time and place for everything. You're just creating more options. For me, I, I look at it more, uh, of course the cameraman is one angle, but the cost, not just the ca camera cost, you're only buying one camera, mm -hmm. but the cost of time too. Yeah. You're setting up and, and running all the cables and everything to your, your uh, workflow. Is yeah. It takes a lot of time. It does. And with the inception of this idea, do you have any idea where it came from? Was it out of necessity for someone? Well, we don't have, uh, it really was a hard look at what we were going to do, Data Video was going to do for 4K. And I think what we decided was we're not really going to get 4K switchers anytime soon because the processing of switching is very difficult and expensive. But there's a, there's a demand for a bridging 4K cameras. The cameras are way ahead of the production side of things and the delivery side of things. But if you can still deliver 1080 with the 4K camera, you have a 4K camera, but you're not really using it as a 4K camera in live production, right? Right, you're, right. no, in fact, I just use it as a single 1080 so source. This <laughs> is the perfect idea for to bridge what you already have 
into a, a real live production that you can use now with your camera. You don't have to wait until you do post-production afterwards. So uh, that's where I think uh, why we came up with this, right. and we're going to come up with more bridge products, from, you know, down convert a 4K to 1080, and build it all around this 4K 100 product. I mean, the, the KME 100. So yeah. I think it's great. We talked about it this morning. I mean, it, you find so much. I mean, between here and the door, there's 800 lighting companies, you know, <laughs> and we're in an age of technology where just because you can doesn't mean that you should. Mm -hmm. And you know, you go over to Blackmagic's booth, and they have a slew of 4K products. Uh, now their studio cameras are the perfect example because these very cameras, they make a 1080 version and they make a 4K version. Well, I guarantee you that for you know 80% of the users, why do they really need the 4K right now? But they're probably selling 80% of the cameras. In the, 4K. Or 4K. Yeah. And so they down convert it to and you're going, 1080. Hmm. What's, yeah. you know, <laughs> this doesn't make much sense. So what you guys have done is brilliant. And, you know, uh, one of your obvious competitors, you know, Livestream is out there. They did a similar thing with a very consumer product that's very closed oh, loop. Movie, right? Yeah. Or well, they changed, they changed the name to Mevo because they, okay, they said, right. oh, wait, why did we name something the same thing as a very popular <laughs> filming tool? Yeah, really? Oopsie. Right. Yeah. So they have the Mevo out there, and it's, you hear the concept, oh, you have one camera, and it can make all these different angles. And it's great, but it's very, their product is very closed loop. Um, first of all, you have to use their camera, which is like, yay big. Oh. Yeah, it's a uh, $400 camera. Right, right and so. if you want, if you want the pro, like if you want to power it, you need an add-on module. Otherwise, it runs on a battery. It's going to run out. Um, so it's like Apple. You need all their products. Yeah, you need it. <laughs> it only it only goes out to live stream. You right. you control the angles with an iPhone. I mean, it's it's very closed loop, and it's uh, I don't know. Well, I, yeah, I, now that it's running through a, a production switcher, you can have transitions. You can have picture in picture. All right. the other things you normally can have. This is the professional cool. application right. of that. Professional application and of you know, that. We use, haven't yeah. really used that all day. The picture in picture. I feel like is that possible? Yeah, let's let's can play with some toys. Oh, do they have uh, picture in picture? Oh, now you caught them off guard. Oh, uh, there we go. We're supposed to have picture in picture of the workflow in case anybody wants yeah, to see it. Yeah, let's let's yeah. pop up a window. Guy yawning in the background. This is some footage oh, that okay. actually... Oh, no, right. no picture, 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 picture right now. Oh. All right, just joking. Well, tomorrow, we'll tomorrow have you we'll come get back. it figured out. Right, yeah. <laughs> we'll have the picture Eventually picture. Eventually, we'll get, we got three days, right? <laughs> anyway, you, uh, theoretically, you could have all the things you normally could have with a, with a switcher, a production yes. switcher, you can do with KME 100. Why not? Yeah. Because it's just, it's, as far as the switcher knows, it thinks it's getting poor Right, and, and listen, you talked about it. You know, creating closed loop products works for companies like Apple, but this is a large space. There's a reason that... We're in two halls of the Las Vegas Convention Center. Right. There's a lot of companies making a lot of products, and I think what you guys do, which is great, is you don't say, "Listen, you got to. This has to be. It's got to be. You know, data video from from the input to the final delivery. It's no. We make products that you know. This is this is a tool. It can integrate into your workflow. Mm -hmm. uh, it could be a part of your chain. Uh, and it, yeah, it doesn't and have to be like any other tool you would use for you know, in your industry, right? Right. I mean, you have different cameras you use for different of shots course. that you do, and same with this. It's a it's a tool. You, you have to very good word for it because I think it's a tool, of course, for this type of application. You wouldn't yes. go to a football game and probably use it. No. Although maybe you could. I haven't tried it yet, but I think that would be cool actually. I'm, and the, the the idea that you can is yeah. the amazing listen, thing Michael about and, it. Michael and I have talked about this a lot too, and it's you know. You talk about tools, if you look at real, just because I have a Craftsman hammer, right. you know, it doesn't mean I can't use a Black & Decker screwdriver. One thing doesn't affect right. the other at they all. They don't equate. And, and, and the reality is it's, it's the perfect metaphor because it's, it's, it's true in a sense. And I think that, um, you know, people get caught up in it. You talk about the sports use. I do a lot of sports oh, live okay. production. Okay. So, that. yeah, that's, that's uh, predominantly what I'm using that Blackmagic system for. And that's why I say with the kids and the better okay. they just point. You know, <laughs> point at the action. Right. Um, and listen, our one camera is always operated by a professional as well. So it's you know, we, it's a it's a very delicate balance. I mean, we're not the NFL. We're a private high school, but at the same time, we're putting out you know quality. really high quality. Yeah. Right. Well, stuff. alumni appreciates that, right? They oh, like. To they're the ones paying for it. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So um, you know, and, and that's really that's what it comes down to. It's. You know, it's where do we bend and where do we cut? And, and I'd love to say, listen, this is a great product. We do a lot of basketball. But the reality of it is, like, it's not. 
uh, and it's it's not it wouldn't be a standalone product. Why? Because you can't watch an entire game from one angle. Right, a. Right. B. The action's moving constantly. Mm -hmm. Am I readjusting my frames all the well, time? Well, it does have a you know the same controller that controls the PTZ cameras is the same controller we use for KME 100. So in real time, you can actually move, move like the, the shot camera. the three shot right. we have right now. You could actually move it left or right, up, down, zoom in and out. So right. So to me, can, a great use would be. You know, in, in the basketball gym that we work in, there's only stands on one side. And we operate from the other side. Mm -hmm. So if we installed one of these right dead center, well, we could get, we could build out all of our B camera angles. Right. So the we could have on the bench the and on the crowd, exactly. the stuff that doesn't move. And now we have another four angles to put into our production. With one camera. With one camera, very low cost. And now we've just upped our production value you know, a, an infinite level, exactly. and that's whether or not we're using a data video switcher or not. That's correct, yeah. Right. Jason, thank you so much for your amazing input and thoughts. It's actually well, yeah. really practical life experience there, so that's awesome. And uh, Craig, thanks for being back with us. We'll Pleasure. have you back the rest of the week, wow. right? Wow, thank you. Thanks and we'll be us. able to do the picture in picture, and we'll show you guys a bunch of other stuff that is from data videos. So. Um, that is the KMU 100. You got it. Thank you. And uh, a lot of practical applications in AV production and more like sports. So you guys stay right there. So much more coming to you live from the Las Vegas Convention Center here in Nevada. We are at Infocom live, like I said, and we'll be right back with Be Terrific. More after this.